Alright, hey, he's Mega here, and it's uh, Independence Day, alright? Yeah, so you can hear like uh, firecrackers and fireworks and all that stuff in the background, alright? There's nothing I can do about it, alright? It's it's supposed to be illegal in San Jose, but, but they're still doing it, alright? Hopefully they don't burn my house down, okay? But anyway, um, happy 4th of July, or Independence Day, for those of you in the United States watching this video, and, uh, and yeah, so... I'm doing an unboxing video, all right? And what I got to unbox is right here, all right? As you, I find it funny how it says, don't crush, and the box is crushed, all right? So I'm, I'm hoping whatever is in here um, got to me safely, all right? So uh, what's in the box, ladies Mega? We're unboxing a order from uh, Liquid Performance, all right? If you guys don't know who Liquid Performance is, they... I guess they liquidate stuff, all right? They they buy a bunch of uh, stuff from companies that are gone out of business, and then uh, and then they they're trying to they're trying to sell it, all right, for a profit. So that's the liquid, right? It means uh, I, I believe in financial terms, liquid means like how how fast can you can you like get money or or, or get rid of money, that that type of thing, okay? <laughs> okay. How, how, how accessible is it, all right? Anyway, yeah, so um, Liquid Performance, they uh, they bought like all the parts, all the inventory from Alta Motors uh, when they went out of business, okay? And um, and they're they're liquidating it, all right? They're, they're trying to sell it to the public now, all right? So, so that's what this is, it's parts for Alta Redshift SM39. Oh, yay, America, all right? Yeah, that sounds like it's right down the block. Anyway, yeah, so we're gonna go open this up and we're gonna see what I got and then uh, that'll be the end of the video, all right? And I'm planning to use this parts for uh, for racing, all right? Like like I said, I bought the, the red shift so we can do some super moto racing with it. I wanted to race with the big bikes and uh, it's one thing. <laughs> okay, so I have already raced it in a super moto race and it did awful, okay? It's got these old uh, Pirelli tires on it, all right. They're great tires, but I'm sure they were great tires when they were new tires, all right. But they're they're very very old. They still got plenty of tread on it, but they grip like dookie, okay. So Hayes Mega is going to fix that, all right, with another set of wheels. So we got another set of wheels, and Hayes Mega is going to put some sticky sticky tires on them, all right. I don't have the tires yet, but um, that'll be for a future video, all right. But that's the main thing I ordered. Um, so how did I get this? I contacted liquid performance and they um and you just tell them what you want all right and then hopefully if, if they got it they'll they can they'll put it on an invoice they'll invoice you at through paypal all right they'll invoice you no 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 no, no. They'll, they'll they'll write you up an invoice on your email all right they'll attach it and they'll they'll look at it all right and you, they'll tell you to look at it and say hey is this all the stuff you want this is how much it's going to cost this is how much it's gonna cost to ship and all that stuff, all right? And after that, you pay them, all right? You pay them through PayPal, all right? Once you tell them you paid for it, then they send it out, all right? And then I, I got the invoice on my phone, which is right over here, okay? <laughs> so I'll, I will go over the price of all this stuff, okay, if you guys are interested. I know the Alta stuff is just kinda, you know, not a lot of people have an Alta, so they're probably not very interested in this bike, but Hayes Mega is still going to make vlogs about it, okay? <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's go open it up. Alright, so this is the box that came in. Pretty big box. Uh, I know there's two wheels in here, alright? And other Alta parts, okay? They also uh, liquidate other stuff like uh, Eric Buell Racing stuff. So if you want to sort of get some of that kind of stuff, they've got it, alright? Um, uh, they have a bunch of parts on eBay, so... Uh, okay, so... Here we go. And hopefully this stuff will make the redshift awesome work. And I apologize for all the loud pops and bangs in the background. Those of you that are, you know, veterans and stuff, I know. It's not a good day for you. <laughs> it's not a good day for you. Yeah. Yeah, man. Veterans don't like loud pumping noises and stuff. So, in here is an invoice. Looks like oh, it's, well, it's it's more like a uh, like a packing list, okay? But uh, I have the invoice on my phone. All right. 
The invoice has all the prices and everything. Okay. Come on down. Okay, it's like Christmas, guys. There's fireworks going off too, man. Lots of packaging material. That's good. There's a lot of space in here, so I can see nothing. Hopefully, nothing got damaged. All right. So this looks like the first item on top that we're gonna unbox is a skid plate for Alta Redshift. All right. There it is. Pretty cool. It's made out of plastic. Pretty strong plastic. I think it's like a. I'm not really sure what kind of plastic it is. It feels like it's like a HDP, high density polyethylene. That's what I would make it out of. And it's got like a, it's got some um, metal pressed into it, all right? To add more strength to where you put the fasteners. I don't know where the hardware to install this is. It's probably somewhere in the box. Uh, right? Anyway, skid plate kit. Okay, this is the one that comes with the most stuff actually. Um, this was $120, all right? $120, all right, and it's supposed to come with, I think, two more pieces, all right, so we'll get to it eventually. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of all this packaging material. Well packed, okay. Okay, I got another box. I got a box within a box, all right, that's good. It's, uh, they wanted to make sure this stuff got to me without getting damaged. Oh, no, all right. Oh, okay. Uh, I know what this is. This is a license plate bracket. I wanted to get another license plate bracket because I my, I was planning to hack up the one that's on my bike, okay? Oh, what is this? Right, but yeah, this is a license plate bracket. I'm not really sure what this is. <laughs> Maybe this is the thing that mounts to the license plate bracket. It's kind of stuck on here. It's got some kind of sticky stuff on it. All right, but that's the cool... Um, aluminum license plate bracket that uh, that comes on the Alta Redshift SM. All right, it's got the the mount for the uh, what's that a reflector? Yeah, that's the bottom reflector. There's a mount for the uh, LED for the um, for the license plate light. All right, and then there's reflector mounts on the side. My plan was to to just uh, cut the reflector mounts off. All right, I don't want any freaking goofy ass looking reflector i'll stick i'll put some stick on reflectors on my bike man okay and i'm not really sure what this is i think it goes i think this is for the skid plate man <laughs> i'm not 100 percent what this is yet but it's made out of the same material as the skid plate i'd imagine this goes to the skid plate all right he's maybe just kind of up in his air if he wants to use that skid plate that was also 28 dollars okay uh, what else we got in here that was $28. Oh, America, America. All right, I think this is part of the skid plate. Man, they put a lot of sticky stuff in it. No, it's just a bunch of random stuff that stuck together. <laughs> okay, this is all the small stuff, all right, guys? I believe this is the last part to the skid plate because it's the same material as the skid plate, so that's the three pieces. All right, I guess it just bolts the frame. I, I, there, I'd imagine there's probably got to be some kind of screws or something. Okay, um, this is a kickstand retention thingy. All right, I'm not really sure where this goes on the SM, but this is supposed to keep the, the kickstand up, all right, to keep it from accidentally coming down. I thought it would be nice to have this for this for during a race. I think this is like three bucks or something. Yeah, it's called a kickstand retention tether is what it is, okay? And it's $3, all right? Very inexpensive. I should have bought more. Okay. And then I got some axle nuts. Two of them. Alright, they're very inexpensive. <laughs> um, I've got the rear axle nut right here. Alright, I drilled a hole in mine. I wanted one that they didn't have a hole, okay? <laughs> and then I have the uh, the uh, the front axle nut for the uh, the, the Redshift SM forks, okay? okay? It's a little different than the Supermoto one. Uh, not the, the MX ones. Um, I believe these are, oh, they're roughly $6. One is $585 and one is $671, okay? That aside, I think that's it for this box, okay? And then, we got another box. Feels like there's really nothing in there. Hey, what do we 
got here? Ah, okay, I got a number plate. There we go, okay. So they actually sold out of number plates, but this is the uh, this is the rear left number plate, all right? I don't think there's any front. Okay, but yeah. Okay, this is the left number plate. As you can see, it's made by Acerbis right here. It says on the bottom. I know it's kind of bright because it's white. There it is, it's Alta. Pretty cool. I heard these are getting hard to find, okay? So um, I got the left one, but they ran out of the right one, okay? Uh, I believe this is $41 or something. Yeah, it's $42, $41.99. Okay, and then the important ones, all right? These are the important ones right here. These are the wheel assemblies, all right? I'm gonna go unlock these wheel assemblies. All right, so if you guys wanna know how much this costs, $200 a wheel, man. What a bargain. That's like half the price of like a whole wheel, all right? And there it is. Okay, let's take it out for a second. I'll just put it back. I already scratched it. Okay, um, so this is the front wheel. As you can see, it's the rotor is like enormous on it. It comes loaded with the caliper, okay guys? It comes with us it comes with the spacer too. Alright, it comes with the spacer, the rotor, the wheel itself, all the spokes and the hubs, and the spacer. Alright, for the I guess for the Alta um, forks, alright, the SM forks. Okay, that's the front wheel. And that's like 200 bucks. Pretty good deal, I think. A set of supermoto wheels will run you like a thousand dollars, guys. So that's a really good deal. Oh, look, this one's in a Warp 9 racing box. If you guys didn't know, Warp 9 Racing makes the wheels for the um, the Alta Red Ship. Okay, pretty cool. Look at that. That's pretty red. Yeah, it says Warp 9 on it. There's a Warp 9. There's a part number right there. Uh, 6800231-00. Okay. It looks like the receiving date is 1-18-2017, okay? So they actually, Alta actually contracted Warp 9, all right? Warp 9, Warp 9 Racing to make these wheels for them. Right? On an OEM bike, okay? So that's an OEM equipment. We're gonna go open it up. I don't know why this one looks so much different than the other one. Okay, but well, there it is. All right, you kind of can't see through the packaging all that well, but as you can see, it's a it's a smaller rear rotor, all right? It comes with the spacer, just like the other one, and it comes with the sprocket. There you go. This is Alta 5.0, so I think it's a 52 sprocket. All right, and then there's the spacer right there, the hubs with the bearings and everything, fully loaded, all right? All you gotta do is add a tube and a tire on it, all right? And then you're ready to rock and roll. Sweet, and I think that's it. All right, guys, so that's the end of the unboxing for Liquid Performance. All right, those are all the goodies I got. Two wheels, two nuts, uh, one side plastic, I think the left one, and the skid plate assembly, and a, a kickstand retention tether, all right? Those are all the goodies I got, um, and I, I went on over to prices and stuff. The important thing is the wheels, all right? I needed an extra set of wheels. What a bargain, $400, can't, can't ask for anything better than that. Um, the shipping, yeah, if you guys are wondering how much the shipping was, it was $90, all right, not cheap, all right, so, um, but that's a pretty big box, guys. It came from Michigan, that's where they, their warehouse is, I guess, and um, yeah, those are for a lot of parts, all right. Um, it's, I still think that's a great deal, all right, to ship all that other stuff. I wish I had bought more stuff, <laughs> okay. But, uh, but yeah, they'll be there when you need more parts. <laughs> okay, so I'll probably shoot some future video on maybe the wheels or something. Everything else is just kind of just spare parts, okay? Um, I don't, I'm not 100% if I'm going to put a skid plate on this SM. I'm planning to use it for supermoto racing. I'm not really going to use it for trail riding all that much, but I will do some trail riding. I will try to keep it away from rocks, okay? <laughs> yeah. We'll try to keep it away from rocks and logs and all that stuff, all right? Stuff that would hit the bottom of the frame, all right? Um, I, but, uh, but I bought the skid plate just in case, you know? I think it would be nice to have one. Um, it does kind of add some weight to the bike, though, so... I'll, I might make a video about it in the future. But there is no, uh, 
There's no mounting hardware. I, I will look in the box and see if there's some kind of mounting hardware, all right, some kind of fasteners to for it. But they didn't have anything in the box, all right. So I'll, I'll look around a little bit more. But yeah, in my opinion, I feel they put too much packaging material. They just kind of threw everything in a box and all that stuff. Hey, Mega. Um, I buy anime figures, and and I you know I've been critiquing how these companies ship their stuff, all right. But um, the good thing is uh, everything got to me without it being damaged, right? The box did get crushed, even though there was a sticker on it that says "Do not crush," you know. But um, it it was crushed, but there was plenty of space, like buffer and or packaging material in the box, all right. So it came to me in mint condition, all right. Okay, thanks for watching. Here's we go. I hope this was an entertaining video <laughs> and, and, and educational, you know. Right. Ah, okay, so upon further inspection, guys, these wheels that I got from Liquid Performance, um, they definitely came from Warp 9 Racing, but there's no stickers that say Warp 9 on it, all right? Um, it's got the, uh, it's got the, like, uh, what size the wheel is and everything, but it doesn't have the stickers. I guess you got to get the stickers separately, okay? But it comes in a black rim, okay? If you order from Warp 9, they can make you a custom set of wheels in whatever color you guys want. Different colors, different spokes and all. Uh, the hub color is different and all. Um, but this is what it, you know, this is a lot cheaper than what, if you were to order from Warp 9. Okay, there's no, no Warp 9 logo on it at all, okay? So, that this is the, the wheel that came with my Alta Redshift SM and it says Warp 9. So you can see, see. Up in the front says warp 9 also oh no only one one part on the front oh no the front doesn't have anything i didn't notice that looks like something peed on my wheel too yeah hmm, that's interesting the uh the front wheel does not have any markings on it all right where the rear wheel does have the warp 9 logo on it that's kind of interesting. I wonder if that's, is that how that's supposed to be? <laughs> okay. Anyway, there you go. Okay, there's a little more FYI. If you do order the wheels from uh, Liquid Performance. They are from Warp 9, obviously, because it came in a Warp 9 racing box, but they don't have the logo on it, right? But it looks like it's exactly the same. It's just, be no problem.